great fan of Fords, I must admit. This is a roller team, Zafiro 696. So it's 2019, 170 brake horsepower, six speed, 3,500 kilograms, cab air conditioning, cruise control, radio, passenger airbag. It's seven, just under seven and a half meters, 2.35 meters wide, and just under three meters high. Four berth, four seat belts. Quite a wide garage, but not very tall. Great for awnings and things. Toilet cassettes on this side. Gas locker here, the electric point. Bike rack, reversing camera. Let's go and have a look inside. Magazine pockets in the door. door window in the door. Fly screen. Not too far to get up. I'll start with a cab on this one. This is a manual Ford. Always think that Fords are good. They've got USBs, steering wheel controls, and the cab is a bit more car like than your van, but uh, it's quite a small steering wheel. I've got to sit in here, haven't I? Have a look. Oh, turn myself around. Yeah, what a nice steering wheel. It's actually leather trimmed. That's good. Rear view camera up there in place of the wing mirror. In place of the rear view mirror, even. Air conditioning controls. Yeah, quite like this. It's good. Working back then. Travel seats here, two travel seats. Bad. Not bad. A I what you say? That's a little bit tight there. I suppose once you've got the front seat swiveled, you can push this back a little bit. This is looking for the table swivel controls. is a Ford you know no it's not bad it's not bad is this I always find with these tables though because they're fixed there's not much you can do with them sometimes you don't need a table there and I prefer a removable table to be perfectly honest hello do you like my new light let's have a look at the kitchen L-shaped kitchen So that's your cutlery drawer. Storage underneath. That's the biggest plug hole I think I've ever seen in a sink. Three burner gas. Bit of a splashback panel going on at the back there, that's nice. Could open at least one locker. And you've got a combi oven there. Very similar sort of fridge again, slimline fridge with a cool drawer at the bottom. Oh, it's great to see that. Somewhere to keep your chilled wine. TV points are there. 
and your controls are here and touch screen and all these do on off water electricity trimmer blown air heating solar panel got this little solar panel on top obviously got a solar ch panel charger and it looks like it's got the control module for um, your iNet fitted already so you'll be able to control all of this through your iPhone it was nice to know right this is a drop down bed and people always ask me why don't I try the drop down bed well, there we go well, that comes down I think you probably want a ladder to get in there at that height but at that height you can just about climb through there but yeah that's not a bad sized bed I'll put it up again there we go so the maximum capacity on that is 250 kilograms so as long as you're both not over 250 kilograms I'm sure you'll be alright lockers underneath are not bad sized lockers actually for lockers that are under a drop down bed right let's move backwards okay so what we've got here is a lot of folding doors Oh, well, that's a lot of folding doors. I'm sure, all that now that all works. Hmm. Seems. <laughs> that seems like a lot of folding doors. <laughs> I don't quite know why. But yeah. Quite a small shower area because you've only really got that to stand on because I think that's the wheel arch. Right, I'm going to figure out how that works. Right, figuring out how the shower door works. There's like a probably easier if I show you how it unfolds. So that folds back like that, and that goes in there. And there's a little piece that comes out there. So I suppose it's all right once you don't want to stand in there, but I suppose once you're in there and you've got somewhere to put your soap, not bad, not bad. You've got a little vent there. Yeah, you've got a door that closes off the bathroom area. So what you actually get, what you actually get is quite a big area in here for changing. Toilet area little towel rail, little cupboard at the back, usual Thetford toilet arrangement, cupboard in the back, reasonable size sink, that's pretty good, frosted glass, always nice to see, I thought somewhere to hang your magazines, and you've got this um, single step up into the bed. The bed's quite wide, it goes quite a way across. Hanging space in there, both sides. The bed's quite low. So it's, uh, yeah, no, that's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. The only thing I would say is quite a severe cut off there. My foot is hanging over. It's really to allow you to get past the bed there. They put two quite sharp cut offs there. But I think otherwise it's quite a nice bedroom because, like I say, that bed is not too high you can just fall into that that's good a lot of these uh, island beds are way up in the air and if you have any mobility issues that would have been a problem but that is a good bed as far as the height but I'm not so sure about the cutoff
Right, so what we've got here is an Auto Trail Serrano. It's a used boat, a 1.7 plate. Four berth, four seat belts, 63,995. 16 inch alloy wheels, exterior barbecue point, cruise control, etc. etc. Just over 8 metres long. 2.35 meters wide looks in really good condition how many miles is it done it's on 11,000 miles but it's on a 4,500 kilogram chassis so you need a C1 on your license to drive this nice chromed mirror protectors there that's nice Let's go with the chrome handles the toilets there quite a big garage here this will have the transverse bed across the back quite a low um, garage but is very deep very wide yeah that's not a bad garage usual back to these auto trails always have the spare wheel on the back reversing camera up the top around the other side Sure, I can see it get around the other side, but we'll give it a go. We have got these massive outside locker points here. And lift that up, and you get about two batteries in there. You put all your wet stuff, etc., etc., in there. There's your waste outlet. Outside bar. Is that outside bar? No, a bit. Not sure what that is. Is that the barbecue point? It must be. The fill point and the locker. Right, let's have a look inside. Trail door with a bin, window, fly screen, retractable step, two steps up, grab handle, always like a grab handle. And again, you've got this this nice. I, like, I do like this table idea, occasional table. That's good. Not sure about that seat there, but no, I think it works okay. But yeah, that makes a really great place to have a coffee or probably a meal. Again, this, this, this one has got travel seats, so you can take people with you. Jenny doesn't really like these sort of L-shaped lounge areas here. I quite like it. I quite, you, can, you can get into the corner. It's quite a nice place to be, tucked away in the corner. The light on. You've got the cab, you've got steering wheel controls, touch screen, nav, built in sat nav, drop down telly. Got all these lockers, great big lockers. Wow, again, they're fantastic size, these auto trail lockers. And go all the way around. Got a massive skylight, absolutely massive. Kitchen with a big sink and drainer. There's normally a cover cover that goes there, but quite a lot of workspace for one of these like kitchens. I mean, it's the same sort of idea that we've got. 
It's interesting, a little flappy thing there. I don't know what, what you can put in there, but. Microwave. Three gases, electric hot plate. That's a Thetford. Is that a Thetford? Yeah, I think so. Oven, grill. And you got this uh, very big thing with this drawer, your bottles. That's a long way up the <laughs> handle. I think Jenny might actually struggle to reach that. It's not a huge fridge that, but then because you've got that space down here, yeah, I suppose it's <laughs> deceptively big. I think that's just the drawer at the bottom. Yeah, it's just a drawer, so you can put your pans in there. Your, your other table, the bigger table, is actually in this locker. Now, I always like these tables because you, you can take them outside, freestanding table. Good job I brought my light, it's quite dark in here, see if we can find some lights. That's better. Right, so you've got a tr put so you've got a transverse bed here. Yeah. That's quite a nice and it's quite wide as well. TV point there. Look out the window, I suppose your feet would be down there. TV point, TV there. Yeah, that works. I suppose the drawback with there's always something, isn't there? But the drawback with this bed, of course, is the person sleeping over there has to climb over the person sleeping here to get out. You've also got a space there, so you've got plenty of places to put things. Loads of drawers, drawers all the way down. More lockers reasonable skylight up there loved a bit of lighting in the morning and great big wardrobe area there hanging space more space down here you've got your heating underneath there but in that space is good good space in the locker I guess this gives you a view into the garage. Yep. Yeah. So you can get things out of the garage easily without having to go outside. Always good. And turning round, a cubicle shower. A reasonable size. It's got a hanging rail. Quite stylish with that black on white. Somewhere to put your soap dishes. This door closes off. Well, it closes off the bedroom and the shower area. There's no way to shut the shower off there, but if you know each other, you won't be too worried about having a shower, I guess. Toilet area, not bad. I always have to get in here to see what it's like. I suppose there's a little bit, it's a little bit tight there. Just shut the door on the, on the toilet. But I mean if you're changing in here that's that's great. You know, you, I can step back here, plenty of changing space, showering space. That's all right, like that. People have often said to me I don't review auto trails. Do I not like them or something? Well, <laughs> I've reviewed quite a few water trails whilst I've been here today and uh, I've actually liked what I've seen. They're pretty good. I particularly like the fact that they've got a lot, of, a lot of locker space. You've got to watch your storage, I think, when you've got so many lockers, but certainly when you're on a four ton chassis, that's not a big problem. Yeah step down there you can watch that but yeah I like this a lot 
things like extractor fans, sockets. I suppose this was this is 2017 this motor, so it seems to be pre-USBs where everything had a USB on it. Oh, well, that's the step. <laughs> Found the step button. <laughs> Got your controls up here. Touch screen control. A truma. It's got an error message on it, probably because it's got no water in the boiler or something. But yeah, I like that a lot. Lots of used stock here as well as new. There's always plenty to see here. And they're always very friendly and very helpful. So if you are interested in having a look at some Motowns, come and have a look at Todd's. I'll put the address up at the bottom of the screen so you can have a look, see where they are. I'll put their website on there. Right, that's it for now. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a, a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notifications icon and you'll get updates when we release another video. Scissors. What is this? It's 685, isn't it? Oh, I'm flaming one here. Right, that's it. Right, that's it. Brain's gone. <laughs>